guys, welcome to Relax Running. Today we're lucky enough to have running physiotherapist Alice Bakey taking us through a pre-run strength routine. So if you enjoy it, make sure you check out her YouTube channel. She's got regular videos up there that are all related to your running performance. So hey, enjoy this class, enjoy your running, and we'll see you all here really soon. I have a brand new pre-run strength routine requiring just yourself and a mat. We're gonna keep it nice and simple, warming up from your shoulders all the way down to your toes. Starting off with a round of squats at the top of your mat, just to get that blood flowing. So with those feet just wider than hip width apart, hands by your sides, we'll sink those hips right on back, reach your hands forwards, hold at the bottom, single arm row. Back to center, standing tall, coming up onto those toes, heel rise. Bottom goes back, squat, row to the other side. Back to center, stand tall, heel rise. So warming up those quads, those glutes, hammies, bit of thoracic mobility for that arm swing, and even into that lower limb coming up into your heel rise. So see if you can start to get your hips a little lower as you warm up through those joints. And really draw that elbow back without twisting through those hips. Eye gaze follows that elbow. Alternating each arm side to side, we'll go one more each way. Coming really tall into those tippy toes, warming up those calves, Achilles, plantar fascia and feet. Last one to your second side coming up. Finishing that last one. From here, hands behind your head, elbows wide, little pulses straight up and down to really warm up through those quads. Get a little bit of blood happening into those major muscle groups. Shoulders back, chest up, keeping that spine nice and tall, you have eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, stand up tall, one, little shoulder roll, straight into part two. Standing on your right side leg, left leg comes back. We're gonna come into an arabesque here. So what you wanna do here is just hands on your hips, extend that left leg straight back, single leg balance, and then start to drive that left knee up towards your chest. We're gonna add in some running man arms. So opposite arm, opposite leg, we hinge coming down. Right arm drive, left knee up. Hinge into that arabesque, single leg balance, strength and stability using your core, your shoulders and your leg muscles. As you warm up, you'll be able to get a little lower. Breathing pattern here is inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. And once you've got your flow, you can start to add a little bit of speed a little bit of pop at the top of that left knee, keeping that spine nice and straight. Soft bend in that right knee, purely because we never land with a straight leg. You wanna fire up the correct muscle groups here. You have three to go. Getting a little bit of glute activation at the top. Two. Finish off your last one. You'll feel the stabilizers in your feet working as well. Finishing that last one, feet come down. Little shimmy, straight to the other side. Standing on your left side leg, coming straight into an arabesque. Just get that first one with your hands on your hips to get your alignment. Both of your hip bones are pointing forwards, and then you can start to add that arm. So from here, hinging down. Left arm up, right knee drive. Keeping that spine straight. One side leg might feel a little more challenging. See if you can slow it down and add your depth as you can keep your quality and your stability. Adding a little bit of speed of that right knee on the way up, inhale on the way down, right knee lift. Pro tip, this is very much easier on a really stable surface. So if you are on a really squishy mat and you're finding it tough, jump onto a hard surface and it'll make it much easier to control. You have three more here. And two. Last one, your best one coming up. Finishing that last rep. Feet come down, feet go wide. Taking a nice slow roll down all the way, rounding through that spine. Your left hand reach for your right foot. Right arm reach up to the ceiling, little spinal twist, hamstring stretch. Straight to the other side, right hand, left foot. Left arm reach, hamstring stretch. From here, 
coming back to centre, hands come down, step back into a full plank, warming up through the quads, shoulders and core, feet hip width apart, hips tight, from here inhale, bend your knees, coming back into a squat, pouncing straight back into your plank, inhale pushing back, exhale coming forwards. So running is very much a full body sport, you want to get all of your muscle groups fired up here to get your posture and your mechanics really nice and smooth for your run. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Core is crucial, so see if you can lift up through that belly button. Engage those deep abdominals. Five more here. And keeping those heels high, get the bottom low using your hip and knee mechanics. Making sure those knees don't touch. Last two. And finishing your very last one. From here, place those knees down, lift up through your tailbone, drop through your chest. Little thoracic stretch into happy puppy and a little sway from side to side. And from here, coming straight on over onto your left side elbow, we're gonna warm up the obliques and glutes, a lateral plane of the body. So knees and ankles together, right hand to your hip. From here, pushing up into a side plank, lift up through those obliques, rib cage engaged. From here, extend that right top leg, keep it bent, and slowly back down. So elevated clam here. Slowly lift, slowly lower. So we're working that left side glute, right side glute, left shoulder, and obliques. So trying to get that neuromuscular pathway fired up so it's nice and crisp for your run keeping your form really stable. If this gets too much, you can always place your hip down flat on the mat, continue with the exact same exercise. But if you can keep the elevation, it's great. You'll get those obliques as well. Three more here. Keeping that neck nice and long. Hips pushing forwards, tailbone tucked. Finishing your very last one, hold and hover. And then from here, little pulses up and down 10 seconds. So keeping that alignment and just tiny little lift and lift and lift, really getting deep into glute mead on that right. Five, four, three, two, and one. Coming all the way back down from here, coming straight on over onto your back. Some little bit of pelvic stability here and hamstring warm up. Also through the feet, so just coming up onto the tippy toes. Hands by your sides, tuck your tailbone, coming all the way up into a hip bridge, hold at the very top. From here, float your left leg to 90 degrees and just hold it there. You're on your right tippy toe, warming up the calf, the foot, the Achilles. And now we're gonna add some extension. Left leg extends, left leg bends. Left leg extends and bends. So that right side leg has got a little isometric hold here for the back of the body. The foot, ankle, calf, hamstring and glute. All the while you're getting a bit of range and activity into that left side hip. Five to go. Four. We'll go straight to the other side in three. Keeping that heel up, two. And last one. Tippy toe comes down. Right leg floats all the way up. Get that alignment. And then from here, left side engaged. Right leg extend and bend. So this time, left side leg working hard for stability and a little bit of strength mobility for that right side as well. Making sure that tailbone is tucked. You've got your left glute, hammy, calf, foot and ankle here, stabilizing nicely. Six, five. We'll just articulate that spine all the way down. In three, keeping it nice and segmental. Two, finishing your very last one. From here, tippy toe comes down, slowly articulating through those hips, arms go wide, little rotation side to side, loosening up through that lower back, straight on over onto your right side. So that side hover position, knees, ankles stacked, elbow directly under the shoulder, coming straight up into a hover position here, lifting up the hips, right side obliques, right side shoulder, nice and strong. From here, a little hover of that left side leg, and lower. So the knees are staying bent, the torso is staying still, and you're just getting your stabilizers here on the right, and your movers here on that left. Both of them firing up in conjunction with each other. 
and see if you can just slightly tuck the tailbone. So push the hips slightly forwards, just to really target in through glute med. We've got that little round of pulses coming up. You have four more reps. Three. Two, last one coming up. One and hold. 10 seconds of tiny pulses, keeping that alignment. Teeny, tiny, controlled movements up and up and up. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Coming all the way down. From here, straight over into a four point kneel position. One cat cow stretch, tuck your toes under. Just finishing here with a bit of spinal, foot and hamstring. So rounding up through your middle back. Extending into thoracic extension. From here, pushing through your palms, pushing your toes down, hover off your knees. And we just lift straight up into a pike heels push back. And back into a hover, the knees don't touch. So strength control and then stretch elongation. Strength control, front side of the body and elongation, back side of the body. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. You've got three to go. We'll come straight into a little prancing pony, just to flush out those ankles in two. Last one, here it is. And one, start to pedal through those feet, lifting one heel lowering one heel. So just getting a little bit of movement through those feet, getting really nice and high through that big toe for the last 10. Stretching that spine nice and long tailbone up towards the ceiling. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Walking your hands all the way back towards your feet. Slowly rolling all the way up articulating that spine, shoulders roll back, and you're absolutely ready for your run. Body should feel nice and smooth and ready to go. I hope you enjoyed your session of Pilates with a B. If you did, I have a whole smorgasbord of classes. In the link below, you can get access to my whole platform, over 240 on-demand classes, 14 live classes a week, and all you need to do is click the link below for a free trial. Get into it, you'll love it.